Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Hola, buena tarde, única, and thank you for choosing this video. In this episode, I will be explaining a little few tips of how to manage your hair, in which sometimes we are lacking off and we are losing so much hair, and you probably wonder what is going on. Okay, okay, so I just experienced a little bit of problem <laughs> right which i'm going to explain a little bit okay okay so before i was uh, natural right i w i was losing a amount of hair but it wasn't too much it was just a little bit right because sometimes i would sleep with cotton pillow you know or i would uh shower with or i would wash my hair with hot water or because before I used to wear these little tights, right? That you tie your hair, you know, with this, um, with these little things, right? With these little rubber bands, and you, and I would see that my hair was breaking off, right? But then after I decided to go natural, I changed all that, and then I was still seeing a hair falling, but it wasn't too much. It wasn't too drastic, right? And so after I I got pregnant, I did lost a little bit of hair on this side, right? And then um, and that's because some some women lose hair while they're pregnant or after pregnancy. No, while they after uh, while and after pregnancy because they're having so much hormones levels, right? And they body changes causing too much stress. Right, and so a lot of hair start to fall off. A lot of people experience too much hair loss when they are actually getting in a new medication or they are in a treatment or they are, um, that's part of their heritage, right? That they lose a lot of hair and that's even common to them. But what if you never lost hair or that much and you probably wonder what is going on, why my hair is, super is falling so much you know and that's one of the questions that i was experiencing not too long ago i was like what is going on right and then so i did lost a lot of hair while out while and after pregnancy right and then luckily i was so happy that i was so temporal right and my hair started to grow back so none of my hair has all of my hair has grown, right? And so I'm waiting for that to get longer, <laughs> right? And so that's really something that is great, right? Okay, and so now the the issue is after the pandemic started, right? Um, after the pandemic started, like a few months later, right? You know that most of us had to work from home and I'm still working from home, right? Now the routine was different, right? Because um, some of us used to wake up, like me, I used to wake up for work really early, like probably a, an hour early, right? For I could get dressed up, for I could take care of my hair. I used to put my coconut oil, you know, leaving and all that stuff. But after the pandemic, like a few months later, everything started changing, right? Because I was getting lazier because I don't need to go out anymore during the week, only weekends and and I was only taking care of my hair before I shoot a video if I could upload to YouTube, right? But then it wasn't the same routine that I had before. And so that routine um, that I didn't do any, that I wasn't doing anymore, it started reflecting in my hair, right? All the stress, all that, the, all those things reflected in my hair. And so that's something that you need to definitely look into that. If you're presenting lots of hair that you are probably wonder why, check on your routine. What did you change? What happened? What probably you, you moved to another state and you probably, the water is different. You know, there's, there's a water that is really different, the climate, you know? Um, so yeah, that is totally different, right? Here in Florida is super humid, but probably in other states is really dry, right? So you have to check into all those things, right? Um, also, you need to change your pillow, um, your pillow setting. Ch change it to to um, silk. Um, eliminate the cotton. Also, I totally recommend cold water because the cold water is really good. Eliminate those heat. 
Um, now, if you are wearing wigs and stanchions, remember you need to take care of your hair too. You know, leave, um, try to always moisturize your hair and and try to always like at least leave those wigs and the stanchions for like a month for so your hair can breathe a little bit right and then you could put all the moisturizing and you can moisturize your hair you could put all the products and then you definitely your hair can be it's gonna breathe you know so i definitely recommend you this right i definitely recommend you that tip definitely moisturize your hair right that's something that i was lacking off um, this past month i was lacking off and then i saw the dramatic changes i shoot a video not too long ago about my new update you know my new um hair wash and go right and i noticed and i noticed dramatic the changes they that had too much ends my hair was super ugly and so why i'm gonna have long hair all messed up and i decided you know what i'm gonna cut it and this is the video right here of how i decided to cut my hair hoy me voy a estar arreglando mi cabeza me voy a hacer un corte de puntas es primera vez después de que me corté el cabello hace nueve años va a ser que no voy a una peluquería me siento un poquito nerviosa pero nada más me voy a cortar las puntas y vamos a ver cómo va a ser el proceso estoy con una amiga dominicana que ella desde que yo era pequeña me ha hecho el pelo junto con otra amiga también pero ya ya no trabajan juntas entonces bueno vamos a ver cómo es eso los invito para que vean todo mi proceso Yes, and after I cut my hair and I feel so awesome, right? The lady was explaining to me and it's, everything that she said, it was true. She said, your hair is super dry. That's why it's breaking up a lot. And she's not a natural hair specialist, but she knows about hair. You know, she's been, she has so much experience, right? And then I decided, you know what? And it's true. I need to take measurements because if I don't do this, then my hair is going to be messed up. And, you know, and if you experience this, too much you know try always to moisturize your hair if you have to wake up a little bit early put your living put your coconut oil put um do this the lock method is really important the lock method will be the living the oil base and the cream right so that is really important that you should do in order to her hair to alleviate and to retain that and to retain that strength right because your strength is really important your hair is really important right and so i totally recommend you to definitely look into that right because i don't want you to guys to experience what i did what i experienced and that's why i had to cut my hair right well i did actually cut those ends because i said to myself you know what i don't want to look into that anymore right and i want to look cute you know i want my hair to look cute right now this is my hair it look at it. it looks so healthy it looks so nice right because i decided hey you know what i need to cut this out and my hair looks really nice right now look at this guys look at this in my hair and look this is where she cut look and you see this is actually where she cut in my hair right now it's you know it is shorter now it looks short because you know that our hair shrinks a lot right but it's definitely worth it i i'm definitely happy about this about this change i hope this video inspire you to definitely take care more of your hair to get more to get moisturizing your hair to to, to do everything that you can, everything that you can, but don't stress yourself now, but to do everything that you can to make your hair healthy. It's really important. Your hair 
is the most important thing okay so and and you are important you are beautiful right so don't let this to cause your hair to be stressed out okay guys so definitely I totally recommend you this tips this is a short video I hope you feel inspired and I hope to see you in my next video guys please comment down below what do you think if you like my hair or not so <laughs> tell me what do you think and I hope to see you in my next video ciao